I've gone back James brought up a few things so this is the coast that we're going to be looking at and I put a little sign to say where Doggerland would have been um, <clears throat> I do find it very strange because Brighton's here somewhere and it's really strange that's not on there isn't it and out in the sea here there's a it drops off there's a cliff the other side of the land had a lot of cliffs anyway this is roughly where some of the cliff sorry the cliff lifts are um, you know round here and obviously the white cliffs of Dover are here um, along this beach Torquay there's one in the Isle of Man and there's one up north but anyway that's a bit later on in the I'm just going to look at again just to show you it's quite beautiful really a lot of it is chalk we live on a chalk place and um, yeah a lot of it erodes away as you can see there these are just places along coast Dorset that one is if you go back to the map I showed at the beginning I put the counties up to show where you know there's counties there that's the county of Dorset quite cliff like I think the valleys are where the beaches are see like that one the rest is cliffs. That's Ludworth Cove. Obviously a lot of hills there. This is a castle, it's called Corf Castle. I'll show you a little bit later on because uh, Facebook have messed up all the pictures. But this is what the coastline looks like and that's what the Isle of Wight is like with the needles. looks a bit like the coastline I was showing you yesterday anyway there's a little ferry which goes across because it's a bit islandy a bit bog it's like that which is I wondered what Doggerland would be like and then you catch the ferry across we're coming up to it in a minute a picture well, a little bit later on so there's a ferry and it takes you 10 minutes but I've queued for hours for that ferry and then over in this piece of land is Corfe Castle, but it is connected to England. It's just a much quicker way of getting there. Um, if you don't have lots of traffic, 10 minutes on the ferry. Otherwise you've got to drive right round, which I'll show you a little bit later on on a map. Calling it the Jurassic Coast. This is the castle, Corfe Castle, what's left of it. Yeah, it's a bit starfort like somehow, isn't it? And I actually, although it's on a hill, I was wondering what that hill was. Not another pyramid, is it? It's probably just a hill. I've been there, but it's a long time ago. Anyway, in here, I think some pictures are going to come up. That's just showing you like the erosion and what happens. And this guy was talking about it. There it is right so that ferry would be across that little bit of land there and then Corfe Castle's in here see otherwise you'd have to drive all the way round yep ferry there but I was wondering if that's what Doggerland was more like boggy and anyway you know, the, I never realised that it was quite like the Isle of Wight, the end of the Isle of Wight. And that's Dorset and streets. See, there's the, 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 the cliffs and the valley in the middle. 
but that is quite a big landslide isn't it they weren't mixed up when I sent them but uh, Facebook have messed them up a little bit but anyway lots of people go fossiling I'm going to put a little bit of video in here this lady was very good at explaining it I know she doesn't know but uh, the other stuff maybe but um, yeah she was fossiling cliffs have changed a little bit there mmm look at that place a fort there there's another valley see like hills hills it's all like this down there isn't it further indeed the beaches are further further no the more towards Cornwall it gets sandier and the more towards Dover it gets pebbly the beaches see we're down here it's it's sandy another colour there And this lady was looking at fossils, and this is what you can find. I've been down there myself and picked, I picked a stone and we cracked it open and it was a big crystal inside. But you get loads of those things. Different colour again. There's loads of those there. It's very peaty, you know, like it's hard but not some of it's not solid, it's like peat. Obviously those those ones have um, fossilized. I don't think people understand the bit about water can do it or mud can do it and they might not be as old as you think they are. Petrification. Those are little sea animals which have petrified. This is what she was finding on the beach. And you see there's a defence system there to stop flooding. To the east sits Golden Cap, the highest cliff on the south coast of England, and to the west is Black Ven, which has the largest mudslides in Europe. At different times in history, the area has been a desert and a shallow tropical sea and marsh, and the fossilised remains of the various creatures that lived here have been preserved within the rocks. The cliffs above Charmouth contain fossils mainly from the Jurassic period, around 145 million years ago. Whilst the Jurassic Coast as a whole contains geological history covering the Triassic, Jurassic and Cretaceous periods. I think a different colour as well. Anyway, now we're onto the lifts because I just find this really incredible that in the 1800s there was loads of these. I showed you the map at the beginning. There's obviously more. Some of them are abandoned, but these ones are going. This one's in Hastings, which is Kent, which is not far from Dover. <clears throat> it is a little way, but I'm saying it's, it's that it's in the same county as Dover. This one, this one's Devon. So Dorset, Devon, Cornwall, and it goes Hampshire, Sussex, Kent. Those are the counties along. Done them all. They're along the south coast. And South End is where I flew to. It's it's on the edge, more sort of Doggerland side. But they have one that's Folkestone, that's Kent, near Dover.
I just think they're incredible that they made those in the 1800s. I mean, look at it. They were cliff faces. Look at how some of them, the inclination is 90 degrees. One of them in here, uh, I'm not sure if that one's in America, but it's 90 degrees. Most of them are 70 degrees. What they do is they put water in at the top and then they empty it at the bottom. There you go, they fill the tanks. And on this one, which is up north, Saltburn is up north in Yorkshire, so below Scotland, um, on the right hand side, the Doggerland side. Um, and I think that's, well, I'm not sure that's the same place. But there you go, it's telling you the degree. Um, yeah, they got that man in there. This one, the other one was up north, this one's in Wales. So another one. This one then is another one down in near, near Torquay or in Torquay. It's got a different name than the other one. When I said it was, yeah, anyway, that one is a different place. Oh, I haven't looked up where that one is, but again, anyway, it's another part of England. Anyway, we're back here to Hastings, which is Kent. Scarborough, up north. There's quite a few of them. So that's the one again that's down. Anyway, the south end again. They're a bit different. Obviously, that one doesn't look as grand as the other ones. Still the same thing, though. It was probably made the same time. There's the one at Folkestone. See, there's the valley and the and the cliffs either side. So they put all the houses in places where it would um, flood if it's going to flood. Hastings one. That one is in France. Looks quite modern that one, but they've got one. And then that one is in America. I don't know why it came up, but I just put it in. And I think that's the steep, the shortest and the steepest one. And that looks quite old, doesn't it? Anyway, this this one's abandoned, and this one's on the Isle of Man. Anyway, I just thought it was a bit interesting and I thought that I would put it in to show you. I just find some of these things interesting, especially those lifts because, you know, they were made in the late 1800s, 1860s, 1870s, 1880s, 1890s, but, you know, they could manage to do all and the beautiful coastline, which England is cliffs, really, along that coast. There's no sort of gentle shelving beach. There's a barrier and then a beach below, but it's below the cliffs. Anyway, we're coming to the end of this video now. Thanks very much for watching. I thought that I would show you a little bit of the Isle of Wight. Um, there's a few interesting things there. Uh, has sands, different coloured sands, rainbow sands, and also the needles. It's quite known for the needles. And even though that lighthouse looks quite small, it's got floors on it. So anyway, those are where the spit forts are out there and the land joined we joined to England oh anyway, that's where the needles are where I'm pointing now but we used to join there I've seen pictures not even that long ago where we joined there 
Anyway, these are the different coloured sands. Now, they show us all across the world the amazing rainbow sands. But England, or the Isle of Wight, and probably England, has these rainbow sands. So that's England. It's not that far from the needles, I'll show you later on. But anyway, here they are, all the different coloured sands. Only showing themselves really in this place. Chalky but with these different sands in them. When I was a little girl I went and got some sands. I think then you could just go and help yourself but I don't think it's like that now. I think you know you can buy the sands already made up. Yeah but anyway that's where the sands are. Again quite cliffy and then just round just on a little bit is the needles. There's England. This is looking back and then there is those sands just on the edge of the picture. There, look, here. There's England in the background. Yes, I wonder what that is. Very chalky there, no sands in that. Yes, they filmed it. I've never seen that before. But anyway, see, this lighthouse looks quite small, doesn't it? But when they zoom in, it's quite big. One, two, three floors in there. One, two, three floors. And look at the difference of the soils. It's chalk up to about just there. I saw the soil change. Look at the difference in the colours. I wasn't sure what that triangle was. Maybe they had to cut it out, but it looks a bit strange, doesn't it? I've never seen it like that before. Yes, beautiful Isle of Wight. With metholithic stones. Yes, my memory of going over there a couple of times was on a ferry and me and my parents went to France with the car in the hovercraft. Anyway, what a shame, this beautiful house. Derelict. Hmm. Windmills. Solar. That's quite a big one, isn't it? And then old buildings like this. Tartaria. Anyway, thank you very much to the people who made these videos. And, um, yeah. It's a really pretty place, isn't it? Lots of boats and sailing there and yachts. Anyway, thanks for watching.